introduce you to Tim Stockman from Studio 19. It's an art gallery that's located just south of Sunrise next to the Gateway Theater. So come on in with me, let me show you and introduce you to Tim. Hey Tim, how are you? Wonderful. Welcome Raquel to Studio 19 Fine Art. I often get asked why we call the gallery Studio 19 Fine Art, and it's fairly simple. First of all, it's Studio 19 because we're on 19th Avenue, just south of Sunrise Boulevard on the east side of town. But Fine Art just means that everything we carry was created for the beauty of the piece, no utilitarian works at all, just because it looks beautiful. Well, as you can see, Tim is a very welcoming person. He's dressed in a polo shirt and uh, shorts. And the gallery is a very inviting atmosphere, very friendly, so you don't feel like it's too stuck up that, okay, maybe you don't understand something. So, Tim, show us some of the artists that you have over here so we can see. I would love to talk about all of my artists, but obviously we don't have time to do that in a, in a one-minute video. But let me touch on some highlights. First of all, our artist from Venice, Raphael Fiore. Uh, been phenomenally successful for us. His work has been universally received and we just signed a contract to put his art on Princess Cruise ships. So that's really a great uh, bonanza for both the artist, for Princess Cruises, and for Studio 19 Fine Art. Next we're looking at Wendy Boucher. She's a brand new artist for us and the unique thing about her work is there is no paint in her pieces. Every single stitch of color that you see on that canvas is a piece of paper, a cut piece of paper that's then mounted on the canvas and then varnished over. It gives it a very, very nice look. Lots of depth, lots of color, lots of beauty. Amazing detail. Our artist in the corner here is Eleanor Clark. She's a watercolor artist. She's been painting for 50 years. In fact, we celebrated 50 years of Eleanor uh, art last year. And she's in her late 70s now, not painting quite as much, but she still produces a lot of work for us. On the easel stand here, you'll see a piece of original Florida Highwayman work. This is Jimmy Stovall's work, and he was one of the 27 original Florida Highwaymen. Back in the 1950s and 60s, they painted by the side of the road. They were all African Americans. Um, they worked together as a collective, and somewhere between 250 and 400,000 pieces of work were sold by the side of the road. Jimmy's in his 60s now and he paints for us exclusively. This is an original piece from the Florida Highwaymen, the original Florida Highwaymen, Alfred Hare, painted in 1964. Unfortunately, Alfred Hare uh, was shot and killed in a bar fight in 1970 and the group disbanded for many, many years. This we bought from an estate um, and it was painted back in 1964. We actually have two of his original works. We only keep one in the gallery at a time. The next artist I want to show you is uh, an artist uh, named Helen Hajar been painting for many years, actually teaches a course with this particular style, and this is actually called encaustic painting. Helen paints with a hot iron and melting chips of wax, and as it melts, she paints and moves it around the paper. She paints on cardboard, she paints on photographic paper, and the work comes out with stunning color and lots of texture, because it's actually all wax. There's no paint in those pieces at all. Our next artist is Terry Gilfillan, T. Thomas Gilfillan. She's been signing her art, T. Thomas Gilfillan, because many years ago when she started painting, she was told as a woman she wouldn't be able to sell art. So she used her maiden name, Thomas, her first initial T, which actually is Terry, T-E-R-I, and she sold lots of art. Today, it's kind of a, a, just a, a badge of honor. She still signs a T. Thomas, even though everyone now knows that she's a woman. And our last artist I want to tell you about is Patricia Roldan. Patricia Roldan paints um, the typical flowers, uh, flora that you see in Florida because she wanted to surround herself with beauty. She spent 16 years in the U.S. military, didn't love the things that she saw in the military. She was over at the first desert storm, and when she came back, she wanted to control her environment. So she gets to do that by painting only beautiful scenes of uh, flowers and flora in the state of Florida. Thanks for coming to my gallery. Well, now you got an opportunity to meet Tim and the gallery, so please feel free. Uh, Tim has once a month a wine tasting and uh, just a welcome open house to the gallery. So come and visit him, ask me when it is, and I'll certainly share it with you. I want to thank Raquel for doing this for me, for getting me on uh, YouTube, for getting me to actually talk about the gallery, because there's so much for people to hear that's different than just seeing a picture on a website or on my Facebook page. But if you need anything in the mortgage market, if you're out there looking for a refinance or you're purchasing a home, Raquel is the person to call, because talking to Raquel is like talking to a hundred banks. Well, thank so, you. Thanks, Raquel.